Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin here, Global Account Manager for Lenovo. Super excited to be back. Uh, had a couple uh, really neat videos over the last uh, few weeks. One of them at our Innovation Center, one of them at our uh, DCG uh, Briefing Center. Uh, but back today with another unboxing video. So, going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to uh, actually unbox this uh, this P52 laptop. But then, <clears throat> there's been a lot of uh, requests for benchmarking videos. So since this is a workstation class laptop, I thought this would be a great chance for me to learn a little bit about running some benchmarking videos. So I downloaded Cinebench onto the similar laptop here so we can take a look at some of those specs also as we get into this a little further. So let's go ahead and jump in. So as I hinted at, this is a ThinkPad P52 uh, workstation class laptop. So just to give everybody a sense of what specs are on this, uh, I went ahead and brought them up here. So we've got a Intel Core i7 uh, processor in here. That's the 8850H processor. Uh, that's just getting started. Uh, it goes up to a Xeon class processor. But in addition to that, we've got the NVIDIA Quadro uh, P1000 4 megabyte graphics card built into this. We've got uh, IPS uh, display. We've got a camera that we're going to take a look at, of course. 32 gigs of memory in this particular configuration, and a one terabyte solid state drive built into this. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, pop this open. We'll talk a little bit about uh, Lenovo's workstation class machines. So here we go. So uh, one thing you notice when you get this is it's hefty. Uh, I could look at the weight. I can bring that up here in a second, but. Everything about this is hefty. You're going to see this, uh, the, the laptop itself is hefty. It's a 15 inch screen. Obviously, uh, hopefully you've been following along and you know that with the five in the description, so P52, the five means 15 inch. Uh, it's a 15 inch screen. We've got a P720, so that would be the 17 inch uh, screen. So this is the 15 inch version. Uh, we've got a very heavy uh, system here, uh, but durable, I think is the right word for it. And this is really made for people who do uh, ISV certification requirements uh, as part of their job. So th that's why uh, you're going to get that type of um, requirements here. So ISV, that's uh, software certifications. Uh, in the oil and gas industry, that might be Dassault, if you're familiar with that. But uh, each industry has their own software certifications, and only certain configurations on certain machines are available um, and certified to run on that product. So if you go to, for example, the Dassault website, you can go there, see which Lenovo class machines are certified. They'll go, it's got to be a P52, it's got to have the P1000 card, it's got to have uh, this much uh, memory in this configuration, and then if you get it exactly like that, then if you need support for your operating for your software, you can call the company and they'll say, okay, yes, you're running out of a certified machine. It's been tested by us. Let's go ahead and begin the um, you know helping you troubleshoot your software. So if you just buy a normal off-the-shelf machine that's not listed on the um, software company certified website, you're not going to get support. It's not going to work. That's why we work very closely with all the ISVs. Um, the independent software vendors to make sure that their uh, our machines are certified to run their software. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Here's also in this box is going to be the line cord that goes with the uh, battery. Uh, let's pop this open. We'll show how this works and we'll get it started, and then I'm going to switch over to the other machine and do some uh, tests on that. So. Uh, we do have a technology in these. I don't, I don't know if I've talked about it uh, very much, but built into the system is going to be like a three cell battery. Then you add another six cell battery on there. We call that our bridge technology. So if you have a spare battery, you can pop this one out, pop the other one in, and you can continue working with the battery uh, still in place. So this is an additional six cell in addition to the three that's already built into it. Uh, pretty simple. Just pop it in. There we go. The AC adapter, very beefy. It says 170 watt right there on the machine. Uh, most of our new systems have moved to the USB-C charging. Uh, you've probably seen that. This one still has the traditional uh, Lenovo uh, rectangle power. Let's go ahead and plug this in. 
right here in the back and we'll get this thing started. So a little bit on the specs while I do this, I got to rush. This is LinkedIn, so I've only got 10 minutes, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's available. So I'm going to go ahead and start the t test uh, running here. This is a Cinebench that in the comments they suggest that I use. I'll run this and see what score I get. It's running while I get this started. Let's plug this in. Move this out of the way. And pop this line cord out. This is the Cinebest. Cinebest. There's two different tests I can run here. This is the OpenGL test. up here we go so this is a it's the machine it's gonna boot up Cortana is gonna appear uh, I did have to unplug that once so hopefully it doesn't affect the score uh, it's still running this one's booting I was talking about this configuration of this one and then I also want to talk a little bit more while I had some time about the options on this thing so the weight uh, there is a touch and a non-touch model um, I was going to get down to the to some of the other key features on here. So we've got the display, obviously the 15 inch. Uh, we've got a multi-touch option for the pen. This one doesn't have the multi-touch. Uh, it's got the ports. So let's take a look at those that we just popped out. And everybody likes that. Uh, classic USB 3s. We got mini display uh, here still. Now on this side we've got another USB 3. And in the back, we've got uh, the power, which we used, and we've got two USB-Cs, HDMI, and the Ethernet. So all the primary um, ports are covered here. Uh, and we've got uh, the fingerprint reader. We've got the shutter that everybody likes, so we can close the shutter. And then we've also got uh, the mil-spec testing built into this, of course, so you can feel it, uh, that it's strong, it's going to pass all those 11 mil spec tests. Switching back over here, we're just going to wrap up here quickly. This thing, uh, the OpenGL test finished at 111 frames per second, so for you gamers out there, you have to tell me in the comments if that's a good score. I think you need at least uh, 60 to run a high quality game, so at least with this screen, this resolution, it got 100, um, 111. I think it might be because I unplugged it, so I'm going to try plugging it back in. See if I can get a little better score. I think I got about 120 when I was plugged in last time, which might affect the processor. Um, and then this is running the uh, Cinebe um, Cinebench CPU score. It tells me right here on the screen that it's a i7 8500, as I mentioned, 6 cores, 12 threads, 2.6 gigahertz, and the score came up with on the CPU is 11.5. So uh, I think I pretty much covered everything I want to talk about today. I know it's been a bit of a whirlwind, uh, but I got a lot of laptops out here. Got to get these into my customers' hands so they can start evaluating, getting them on their certified standards list, and get these into the developers' hands who I know are already bugging me to start working with these. So hopefully if you guys have any other questions, you can hit me up in the comments. But other than that, I'll talk to you uh, next time. Have a great day.